Welcome back to the channel. Today we're in Madeira. We're going to do PR8, which is a coastal route towards the far east end of the island. Right, let's have a look at the map. PR8 is a short and stunning walk to the eastern tip of Madeira. We start on a boardwalk across the sands before reaching the narrow walkway with fantastic views on both sides. We can see the pinnacle rocks in the seas as we head past. We complete a descent and ascent and we find ourselves on a wider section where there's a cafe and then attempt the climb to the final summit from which we can see the land taper into the sea. Coming back we take the path to the right and taking the views once again as we head back to the earlier path. The walk's between six and seven kilometers and can be completed in around three hours. It's a fantastic introduction to the island and it's only about 20 minutes from the airport. So it's one you can do pretty much straight away. Route out here is saying about three kilometers. Total's about six there and back. It's quite a busy one this, it's uh, quite packed. We arrived at about midday, so not surprised really. So uh, this is about 20 minutes from the airport and it's stable kind of path most of the way down. It's a very well trodden route. There's probably about 4,000 people here today, isn't there? <laughs> it's absolutely <laughs> rammed. It's about 3k on the route and we're on the extreme east of the island. Uh, it's dead easy walk with this. It's boardwalked as you can probably see behind me there. So that's it as we head up. Plenty of people doing this in trainers. You're in, hey. you're, you're in trainers today, aren't you? <laughs> Alison's not even brought her boots on this holiday. <laughs> so just uh, trying to go with the trainers. towards the sea. I think there's some, looks like lobster pots over there or some form of fishing taking place. The walkway's a bit battered there. It's uh, got quite a few gaps in it. Look at that though. Considering it's uh, late October, it's absolutely stunning here. It's probably about 24 degrees. <laughs> Well, extended the summer a little bit. It's uh, pretty much, well, it's off the coast of Africa, Madeira, so you can almost guarantee decent weather. See how we get on this week. It's due to be about 23, 24 all week, isn't it? So hopefully, she'll be all right. In a couple of days, we'll be out in the mountains and we'll see what they've got to offer. There's quite a few high level walks here. It's obviously volcanic and so the mountain is like dead steep. So Alice is driving this week. <laughs> Quite a dramatic view of that cliff face there, look at that. So although I can't give you that much information about the mountains, uh, this is kind of a low level walk and we're just heading towards the peninsula. Several viewing points as we come across and this is one of them. So ideally we'll be walking down the tops there, getting as far as we can along. You just see in the distance, I don't know if you can see it, there's a little uh, cave there, natural cave being formed or arch being formed at the end. Yeah, no, there's quite a few lizards knocking about on here. Alright mate, take it in the sun. <laughs> this first viewing point you can just see out the sea behind me, so beautiful blue. And the range is just at the side. Effectively it's the peninsula on the far eastern side of the island. We're just going to head down it and you've got the waves crashing either side. Lizards everywhere. Yeah, lizards. <laughs> yeah it's absolutely, absolutely packed of lizards. There's tons of them. Yeah, catching the sun there, aren't you? It's a pretty high level walk, but you've got this rail at the side to guard you from the sea. That's a good old view. It's a bit of up and down to do, but look at that. That's a cracker. The island of Madeira is pretty small and it's most famed for its Levada walks. So in the hills you've got watercourses going by the side of you. So we'll get a few of them in this week. You thought it was famous for Madeira cake? <laughs> <laughs> and the Madeira wine. It is low level but still superb scenery. Look at that. Out to the islands over there. Just walking past and the scene's quite dramatic. All the sprays coming up from the sea. Let's have a look up here then and see what there is. Wow, look at that. 
<laughs> Real erosion on that. That is steep. Looks like sandstone. And there's the <laughs> steep erosion coming off that. That's crazy. Let's get a good look at it. bit of an up but it's a dead steady path this look at it touristy it goes from 24 degrees down here up to in single figures probably in the mountains on the same day but it's cracking views see those little fishing pontoons over there we're at a turn look at this sort of compacted stone it's only about 20 minutes from the airport this and I say 6k so three there three back so if you're waiting for your room to get ready like we are because we can't check in till four got a quick one to do you can do it in probably two to three hours looks like another good view coming up there then we're heading just to the end you can just see you know, all the colours as I guess this has all been eroded away because the sea is quite fierce around here. Quite a lot of accents around, but predominantly German, I think, this time of year. Just short of the English half turn by about a week. Wow, that's a good one. Nice little cove. Some fantastic pinnacle rocks around here. You can see all the erosion as it's taken it away down there. What a coastline! Even though it's about 3k out and 3k back, it still looks like plenty of people on here have underestimated it because it is quite a warm day still and uh, quite a few without hats. I've not got sunglasses because I couldn't find them this morning, <laughs> but I'll go and get some in the village when we get there. I'm going to stay in the Funchal for a couple of days and then head off into the mountains. The steep drop off, but you've got this nice little rail here to keep you safe. That's where we've come from, over there, the car park. Coming up to our next viewpoints, and there's plenty to see around here. So you're on quite a narrow ridge going forward. So there's one of the best views in the area. Got the uh, mountains in the background, we'll be there in a couple of days. And there's the bay we've just been in over there, and that's the Needle. And then this lovely bay here. Just lucky to get this today. Wasn't intending to go out and do a walk, but just thought while we're here, give it a little go. So close to the airport. There's the little fishing grounds down there. It's what? Crabs. Could be crab, could be, oh look, look. I'll bear to pray there. I've seen a few knocking around. There's the next viewing point. Well, <laughs> you just keep coming. There's a big silver bird there <laughs> coming in. <laughs> Another one going to get it. <laughs> Thank you. 
looking forward eventually we run out of uh, track and the end point you can see there that's actually a separate island i think there's a little cafe over there let's get down to it yeah might need to get ice cream it's an art day what do you mean <laughs> keep yourself hydrated but you've got this post again keep you safe traffic's thinned out a bit as we're coming across i can just see now there's a mount at the end we've got to get to the top of that so a bit of a climb to finish because you walk in a sort of knife edge there's views on both sides so we keep getting new viewpoints and that is this one cracking cove again so quite a few lizards knocking about <laughs> and say so the airport's pretty close <laughs> <laughs> that won't be coming in. So the airport's just like over there, really. Well, you can see it in the distance. It's that sort of, if you can see it, it's like a flat runway. So <laughs> the options are Route 8 or Route 8, 0.3 or 0.6. I'm not quite sure what the difference is. <laughs> There's something over here, but it's not pointing over there. Uh, so I guess we're down here, along to the cafe, looks like. Up to the top. As we're coming down here, you get a bit of an idea. We've just been walking, so it's that route. It's looking pretty close to the cliff edge, isn't it? <laughs> no wonder they've got a rope on it. Bit of a speedboat coming across for us here. Look at that. Speeding. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it's going to pull in now. Must be a little jetty down there. <laughs> Can't bother walking, just get the speedboat. Getting towards the cafe. Might see if they've got an ice cream. <laughs> Check out what Portuguese ice cream is like. Got to go over this bridge first. And then head up. That's just there. Little oasis. boats down there are doing a whale and dolphin watching tour. Life recover natura. after summer. Out from the cafe then and we're heading up. Looks like probably a couple of hundred meters up. So should be a bit of a steep one. There it is. Bit of a climb in it. Cafe, then is that bunch of solar panels behind me? <laughs> and we're just gonna head up now. Well, I might as well use it if you've got the sun. Yeah, come across this bit. I think it's supposed to be stairs. <laughs> Not quite finished yet, I think. It's a bit wonky. I'm not sure if it's a staircase or a series of trip hazards It's going up. <laughs> it's, it's a bit wonky. There's not much pegging in going on. Are you giving up? Come around the side. It's not particularly helpful, I've got to say. I know, it's literally gone to pieces. <laughs> Once you pass the logs, you're now into this, which is uh, improvisational as far as steps go. I 
Well, <laughs> let's think about these. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Yeah. Some people struggling down there a bit. Yeah. If Salvador Dali made steps, this would be him. <laughs> Just heading up there. It's looking like a hundred meters or so. So not too bad. Yeah, clouds come in. Gives a bit of cover. This is all over the place now. <laughs> Whoa. Kind of make your own way up, really, isn't it? <laughs> There's our next little lookout a few yards from the top. I think this is about as far as we can go once we're up there. There's the top then. That's about as far as we can go. <laughs> Fence has diminished. Yeah, we have a council up here. <laughs> so, let's have a look out. So that's as far as we can get, but down there is the lighthouse. There's another alternative route you can take at sort of high level going across there on the way back. That's where that woman slept. <laughs> a little bit of a shrine near the top. Mary there, having a good old pray. I don't normally do out and backs, but this is one because it's a peninsula, so you got no choice. <laughs> It is a bit of an assault course, so you need to be careful if you're doing it. Right, but I say same out and back. This looks even worse going down, so I'm just gonna get out the side, I think. Yeah. Oh no, Alison's caught a <laughs> finger on these things. I caught myself early, but didn't bleed. These are shredded quite a lot going down. So that is not good. There we go, back to the trip hazards. I think I'm going to abandon that. <laughs> it's still gravelly here. <laughs> Bit of a test of coming down. <laughs> so somewhere between slippy slidey gravel, trip hazards and uh, yeah, handrail hazards. <laughs> Apart from that, it's all good. Remember your controlled slides from Helvellyn. All right, we're down that. And um, there's a slightly different way back we can go, so I'll just show you. So we've come on this slow level route here. That's the cafe. Um, this time we can go up there and then head along that sort of long plateau there. <laughs> Here's the alternative then. So I'm just gonna go up there. That's the cafe. Little oasis. All sorts of different colours going on here. Red, yellow, brune, grey. It's all happening. All happening. <laughs> the multicolour landscape. This then is marked as the viewpoint. I'd say name is the cafe. Oh, look at that.
<laughs> we're gonna head across this flat plateau now and then work our way towards uh, the viewpoint with the sort of uh, sticky up rock, the needle rock that you saw before, then head our way back to the car. If you enjoyed the video, then it helps me if you click on the like, it spreads it out to more people. And if you uh, have been here or are thinking of coming here, then just pop a comment on, let me know what, what we did or if you did this one. Right, we'll head to the bar in Funchal. I'll see you in there. It's a bit less walk this path. Uh, it's pretty steady, but it's flat going across, so no problem. We're gonna hit the crossover point soon. And there it is. That'll take us back on the route we're on before. <laughs> and you can see that really steep off, so that's what the wires are for. Glad that I was in such disrepair as the one we saw on the top. the walk. Enjoy it. We'll work a little punt out in it. Let's have a look at this place then. breeze going on. <laughs> Get that rail. It's like a cracking view again. Lovely. Walk, it's needle rock. 